Hello, my dear friends. I just love you. (laughs) I've talked a lot about the power of words. And boy, howdy, they are so powerful. And someone brilliant once said, everything you say is an affirmation. It's true. And somebody, there's another one that says, whether you can, or whether you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. (laughs) Yes, that's true. So, one small, powerful practice that has been very transformative in my life, I will share with you in case it resonates with you. As always, take what resonates and spark from that where you go and leave anything that does not resonate. Share what works for you in your way. There's this word called want, and it is all over, at least English, and Spanish, it's all over a lot of languages. It's definitely in our culture. And we say it all the time. I want this kind of relationship. I want this kind of a job. I want this kind of a thing. I want to be this kind of a person. Want, want, want. And what that says effectively, very specifically, is I am not. I don't have. I desire out there that is not me. <laughs> um... Sure, if you would like to stay not those things and not connected to those things, by all means, keep using that very powerful affirmation. Personally, I am ready for, I am excited by, I am cultivating, I am practicing, I am loving these words in place of the W word. It's a four letter word. Not that four letters are bad. Um, So I encourage you to look at this word and to start noticing. Maybe listen to an interview with somebody. Uh, Maybe read an article and just circle this word. Just start paying attention to your friends, your family. When do you hear this word? Sometimes it's easier for us to hear it in somebody else than to hear it in ourselves first. Um, And then to very mindfully swap out that word, eradicate want. What if we could eradicate want from this world? What if there is enough? I believe there is, that we just are reconfiguring the distribution apparatus we use (laughs) and reconnecting our modes of creation for the highest good of all. I believe that this is happening. Um, so I encourage you to do this. How it's changed my life is that I become very aware of it. And you can tell in a video that I just shot, I said the word want and I changed it in that moment. Really powerful. I made a mistake. Okay. It's not a mistake. I made a particular choice that I didn't realize until it was out of my mouth. And then I changed it. It's not too late. Notice this, especially if you're doing some intentional writing, um, or, you know, vision boarding or whatever it is, the different practices that you do, really look at it then and change that word. And let me know how it goes for you. It's a powerful world. Word. So, so again, some of the things, and it's a powerful world too. There was a little Freudian slip. <laughs> so again, the, the things that are important to me, oh, and the very, the very um, important part of this is it has to be something that you believe. I used to, when I learned affirmations when I was like 18, I used to try and affirm something from the outside that I didn't really believe inside without looking at the core belief underneath me that was creating that thought pattern. There are many practices for looking at and changing that belief. I may share some in future videos. Um, But just to do this one very powerful practice, if you're substituting I'm ready for, I'm excited by, I'm cultivating, I'm practicing, I'm calling in. If you're substituting any of these phrases for I want, or I'd like to, I'd love to, um, make sure that it's something that you believe now in this moment. That may change, you might believe it more, but um, if you don't believe you're quite ready yet, then you can say, or if I didn't believe I'm quite ready yet for something, I can say I'm practicing it and believe that. Do I believe that I'm practicing it? Yes, even if that means that I'm starting right in this moment to practice it. (laughs) You know, or I'm cultivating. Maybe I've been working on it for a while and I'm still in process. I'm cultivating it. 
When I feel ready, I will say I am ready. And if it doesn't feel quite true yet, then I'll change that. So feel how that resonates in you. Rather than pinballing it, as I mentioned in another video, like figuring it out, drop it down into your heart, drop that ball right into your heart, and feel, does this resonate with me in this moment now? Yes, okay, I'm gonna use that affirmation and I'm gonna believe it and it's gonna be powerful in my life. No, not yet, okay, find the one that does, no problem, and then keep checking in with it. Maybe tomorrow, I'm cultivating it now, not just practicing, because I can tell that I've thought of it several times. So let me know how it goes. Let me know if you have any further insights with this. Um, but this simple change and just simple shift in our words, I believe, can have a very powerful impact. It has in my life, and I'm sharing it with you to see how it changes and grows in you. Blessings! We are connected. Vibes to you and all you do to share this light in the world.